Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ray and I'm studying Physical and Natural Sciences at Cambridge. So as you can expect from this title, I got an A-star in A-level Maths and I'll be going through how. So just for context, I did AQA Maths, but that doesn't really matter because as part of the new specification, it means that all exam boards have more or less the same content and same exam um, solve questions and styles and stuff. So the first thing you should do is download your specification and just use it to make sure that everything you cover during year 12 and year 13 you actually know so you don't get any surprises when it comes up in the exam or anything. If there isn't, if there's something you haven't covered you can either search on YouTube or go to your teacher and ask them about it and have them teach it to you. So as part of the new spec you should be doing mechanics and statistics and for statistics, uh, for some of the definitions or keywords or whatever, I'd suggest making flashcards to help you remember them. I had to make a couple to remember stuff like cluster sampling, stratified sampling, um, the marking points for uh, the random sampling method and stuff like that. So the best way of revising maths is of course to do questions, but you have to learn the material first. And the main thing I use to learn it, except from learning it in class, uh, were to use YouTube videos. So be ready to search any of the topics you don't understand on YouTube. Unlike subjects such as chemistry and biology where you will be finding videos just on that spec um, f or just for A level, for maths it really doesn't matter because maths is maths. If you want to find a video about uh, binomial expansion or Pascal's triangle or whatever, you just uh, type that into YouTube and you'll find some. It doesn't have to be made by someone who teaches A-level maths. So because of this, I used quite a lot of videos from Khan Academy to help me make sure I understood what was going on. But if you do want videos made by maths teachers on everything from the spec, then I would suggest Exam Solutions or Jack Brown. Exam Solutions, you can go on to his website and find all his videos there. And Jack Brown, you can go to his A-level maths playlist and his Word document where he links all his videos to the spec and use that. Don't feel the need to watch all the videos though, just on the topics you need uh, to work on and you can find that out by doing exam questions and textbook questions. So the next thing I did was to use a textbook for questions. Uh, the one you have in school or online or something should be fine. And don't set yourself the unrealistic target of doing every single question from the textbook because unless you, you're you willing to waste a lot of time it's really not worth it. Just do questions on the topics you're struggling the most on until you get well enough at those and if you're not quite sure which topics you're struggling on I'd suggest uh, going through each chapter or each topic and then doing the final few harder questions from that uh, textbook chapter topic or what, whatever. And from that, from how easily you can do those questions should give you a good indication of which topics you need to work on. If you're comfortable with that chapter or topic, then just move on to the next and slowly go through the textbook and see which topics need the most working on. But of course, doing tests in class will be able to tell you this as well. So then I'd suggest doing past papers. Try and focus on doing the new spec past papers because the old spec ones can get quite repetitive and puts you in the false sense of security that you're um, you're getting A's and A stars when in the new spec questions you might be getting A's and B's or C's. I did all of the new spec papers which were released up to that point including like the practice set papers which were given to schools because I know so far there's only been two actual years of papers the 2018 and 2019 papers. If you do run out of new spec papers, I would suggest going on Physics and Math Tutor and doing the Solomon papers. It tells you which ones are the hardest of the Solomon papers and they're mapped to the old spec like C1, C2, C3, C4. Doing a few questions from the harder papers should set you up pretty well for tackling some of the really tough questions on the new spec. So whilst doing these papers as mocks at school, and doing them at home, I would suggest developing the exam technique of knowing when to move on to the next question or when you're completely stuck. Um, the general rule I'd suggest is if you keep finding new ways or doing the question, then um, 
keep at it. But if you keep doing the same thing over and over, then just move on uh, and then come back to it later if you have the time. And sometimes when you do come back to it later, you do see something that you didn't initially see and you see a mistake perhaps. So it's always worth moving on. The questions, at least from my experience in doing the 2019 exams, they're not in order of difficulty um, as exactly. So you have the harder ones towards the end, but you have some easier ones towards the end. It depends what topic you're strongest at. So I would suggest going and seeing all the questions at least during the exam rather than saying, oh, I can't move on because uh, the questions past this point are harder, which they might not be. But most importantly, when you mark them, be sure to ask for help from any of your teachers if you don't quite understand a question or understand how the mark scheme did something or just don't understand a topic in general. As for the calculators, I would suggest getting really familiar with them. Um, there are a few like shortcuts you can use to help speed up things during the exam and just playing around with them should get you, you should help you get a feel for it. Ask your teachers because they should be quite familiar with the new calculators from now. So this is just a quick calculator trick which I'm going to be showing you. You can see this question which I've just completed over here similar to quite a lot of A-level questions. And here I have three solutions. And now I can make sure that all these solutions are right by typing in this equation over here into the calculator. So 4 cos x squared plus 7 sine x minus 7. Now, because we have an unknown variable over here, x, it could have been a, b, c, d, e, any of these. Because we have x over here, if we press calc, then they'll ask us which value of x we want to choose. So if I choose 90, and then press equals, I get 0. If I press calc again, and choose 48.59, which I've rounded off, we get a number very close to 0 because it's 10 to the minus 6. And if I choose 13.41, I mean 131.41, we also get a number very close to 0 because it's uh, minus 4.36 and so on times by 10 to minus 6. So because, because those numbers are very close to 0 or are 0, we can make sure, well, we know for sure that these must be the solutions to um, this. So you can use this for any, any number of unknown variables. So if I choose A plus B and then press calc, It'll ask me what I want to choose for A, so I could choose 2. What I want to choose for B, I could choose 5. That's going to give me 7. You can do it for C as well, D, and then you can enter in 3 for as many numbers as you want. So if you can get very quick at doing that, you can quickly check your answers and make sure you're right. Also, try and be really familiar with the formula book, so when you're doing papers, actually use it at home and then during your mocks and your real exams, you should have no no trouble in trying to find where something is because you should know exactly where it is by that point. I'd also suggest during year 12 and year 13, try and understand each topic as much as you can, especially during lessons like asking the teacher for help or questions and stuff, don't be afraid to do so. Because if you end up just memorizing methods of how to do different questions, if they change a the question slightly during the exam, it can trip you up and throw you into a panic, and that's the last thing you want to be doing during an exam. Also, make a mistakes file. So for any common mistakes you end up making when doing papers, just write them all into a file, and then before any exams, just remind yourself of those mistakes and to look out for them. That's all from me. I hope your revision and your exams go well. If you want to see any of my other How I Got an A Star videos for um, further maths, physics, and chemistry, you should find them links below. If you have any suggestions for videos I should make, like trying to avoid silly mistakes, leave a comment down below or if you have any questions about this video. Otherwise, leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff. 
As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.